Blonder Tongue is happy to help with the alphabet soup that exists in the CATV market. Continuing from the encoder alphabet, we'll now go into the result of the MPEG encoding, the transport stream. If you're unfamiliar with acronyms like MPEG2 or 4, you might want to take a look at the encoder alphabet soup where we talk about both video and audio encoding. Here we'll be going over some pictorials to help you further understand what you get as a result of the encoder process, the transport layer of the ATSC standard, including Program and System Information Protocol, or PSIP. The Open Systems Interconnection model defines internetworking in terms of a vertical stack of layers. The model can be used as a guide for how data is transmitted over the network. It's an abstract representation of the data pathway. The model was constructed with seven layers for the flow of information. Application, presentation, session, transport, network, data, and physical layers. The transport layer is responsible for reliable transmission of data and services between hosts. The major responsibility is data integrity. That data transmitted between hosts is reliable and timely. Once the compression format, profile, and level are determined and applied, the resulting stream of data is partitioned into groups called packets. A packet is the basic unit of data in a transport stream. These packets of audio and video are multiplexed with the overhead information and sent in the transport stream to the receiver for decoding. The packetized transport and multiplex layers of the ATSC system provides a flexible framework for conveying television program and other digital information to customers. Now, the next couple of slides, I'll try to give you a little bit more of a pictorial on all of these. Visually, you can think of a transport stream as a large communications pipe that contains one or more smaller pipes. Each smaller pipe represents an MPEG-2 program. This figure shows a simple example where the transport stream carries two MPEG-2 programs, such as a digital TV channel, which may include multiple elements like audio, video, and data. The MPEG program, Specific Information, or PSI, is provided in five tables. The PAT and PMT tables tell the TV how to display video and audio for each program. PAT stands for Program Association Table and PMT stands for Program Map Table. The PAT is the base table for the PSI and provides the complete list of MPEG programs in the service multiplex. CAT and TT, I'm sorry, CAT and TSDT are the conditional access and transport stream description tables. Here, the two programs are 2000 and 2001. For program 2001, the PMT is 1026 and the Video Program Identifier, or PID, is 511. The PID tells the TV how to differentiate between packet types. It contains the header of each transport stream packet and is the key to sorting out the elements in the transport stream. STT, MGT, VCT, etc. are the PSIP, or Program and System Information Protocol. PSIP provides a receiver with the additional information necessary to browse and select events via an electronic program guide, or EPG. We'll cover more on the next slide, but bottom line, they tell the TV the channel numbers and the names. PSIP is metadata inserted into a transport stream that enables tuning to virtual channels and provides television and guide information such as channel name, language, captioning, time of day, etc. It basically tells you where you are, where you're going, and what's on now. Here are the main PSIP tables. The base table starting with Master Guide Table, or MGT, is a signaling table that is the directory of all the PSIP tables. System Time Table, or STT, provides exactly that, the time of the system. Virtual Channel Table, or VCT, is really one of the most important. It lists all the virtual channels in the transport. Rating Region Table, or RRT, contains the Content Advisory Ratings, or VCHIP data, for the program or event. Event Information Table, EIT, contains the event or program description and scheduling information for the PEPG. Extended Text Table, or ETT, includes multilingual text in the digital transport stream. 
Directed channel change is the means for the broadcaster to direct the TV tuning to a virtual channel based upon various criteria. DCCT indicates that alternative programming is available, and the DCCST is an expansion of the selection codes to allow for system growth. The elementary stream produced by the audio or video encoder is segmented into a series of packetized elementary streams, standing for PES or PES. There are two hierarchical layers, the PES layer and the systems layer or transport stream. The PES packets are segmented into fixed 188 byte transport packets for real-time transmission. Each elementary stream has a 4 byte header, 184 byte payload, and contains any one kind of information video, audio, data, PSI, etc. Packets belonging to the same elementary stream are identified by the PID in the packet header. Note on the graphic the three blue packets in the transport stream. These packets have the same PID and belong to the same elementary stream. The process of interleaving the transport packets of more than one program into a single unified bitstream while maintaining timing of each is called multiplexing. The unified bitstream is called a multi-program transport stream, or MPTS, as opposed to a single program transport stream, or SPTS. We hope this helped you with the alphabet soup that exists in our industry. Please see the support section of the Blondertongue website for more resources. In particular, a lookup summary of the various acronyms included here can be found in the Blonder Tongue Reference Guide. You can also request a hard copy of this pocket guide on the Publication and Request a Catalog page under the Support tab.